Your favorite place you've ever worked? For me, still Disney. And I don't know if it was my love for Disney or if I just love to get out the house. If you've ever had overprotective parents, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When I first got my car, my mom was calling me every two and a half seconds. Where are you? I just looked in your room. <laughs> and you're not here. It's <laughs> in the morning. I'm at school. And every time you leave the house, you feel like you're Michael Schofield for a few hours, breaking out of jail. So I never talked about this. Nah, I never, my parents was not strict at all, actually. I had a lot of freedom, right? Like, I could really could have did whatever I wanted, to be honest. But, um, I do know, like, family members whose parents was strict as fuck. And that shit is definitely like that, bruh. Like, your parents be, like, horny, like, goddamn excited, like, fuck. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like, you was deviant. Oh, God. Get away from me. Get away. I just couldn't live like that shit. This is my other Disney videos, but I actually remember the day I went in to apply. You start with a phone interview, and if you do good on the phone interview, they bring you in for the hard stuff, the personality test. I had a friend, William, who worked custodial at Magic Kingdom, so he helped coach me on how to take the test. All I know is I wanted to work with something in food because all I remembered from every time I've ever went to Disney ever was how amazing the food smells. And I also very clearly remember my parents never buying me food ever at Disney. You know what's sad? I've never been to Disneyland before or Disney World. The only places I've been in not, were, uh, were not Bay Farm, right? We're at Disney for eight hours, and I'm like, Dad, I'm hungry, please. The food is too expensive here. When we'd walk past restaurants, <laughs> I had to use every ounce of willpower not to crawl over to other families and be like, are you guys done with that chicken? So I just assumed if I worked in food and beverage, I'm going to get free food. So I know it sounds a little crazy, but my goal was to be that guy at that kiosk selling the Mickey Mouse ice cream bars. So I go in, I smash that personality test. Congratulations, you're hired. Which park do you want to work at? God damn, this nigga's animation is next level shit, damn. Studios. studios. Okay, well, here are all the available positions at studios. Okay, um, so if you select food and beverage, you'll be handling money? And you gotta take a math test. I get this math test. I haven't seen questions this easy since the fourth grade. Addition, <laughs> subtraction, multiplication. I give it back to her. Mm, you failed. Do you wanna pick maybe another position? I know that if y'all took a basic math test that you know you passed and you failed, you would feel some type of way too. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I thought that was a joke just now. This nigga really failed that? Instantly kicked into thug mode. Talk to me nice, or <laughs> talk it all. I stay hugging the block. Lady, is you disrespecting my gangster right now? Acts about me. Man, give me that test. In my head, <laughs> I'm dead as hell. Acts about me. <laughs> you disrespecting my gangster right now? Acts about me. Man, give me that test. In my head, that's how I sounded, but. Maybe in reality it came out something like, Oh no, that is not Oakley Dokley. May I retake it, please? Take the test again, give it back to her. Mm, <laughs> you failed. You sure you don't want to do, mm, I don't know, anything else? So I picked attractions and that's how I ended up working at the Indiana Jones show. Something else that happens whenever I go to the park with my friends, a lot of people stop me and they tell me they applied for Disney because they saw the other videos. I'm gonna warn you right now, you gonna stand a lot. This is how they prepare you for this at orientation. They just say stuff like, while you're at work, don't lean. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm a gamer, and the standing position is my enemy. Yeah, you remember in Lion King no. when Simba ran away and he was laying there in the desert about to die? That was me 10 minutes after I clocked in on my first. Bro, why did I have the same thing happen to me, bro? I had a new security job, bro, and I was down on my ass, bro. I had to pay for school, my own uh, apartment, car, and I only had like, a security job. Shit was trash. And I went to this new security job and they had, and it's over there down on the swap meet on, um, it's the swap meet I go, go to, uh, the outdoor swap meet on uh, Pecos, I think. Oh, bro, we went down there. They, they was like, um, yeah, you gotta stand near the stage. 
And bro, they had niggas standing for nearly like twelve, like eight to twelve hours, bro. I think it was ten, but like that shit. I'm watching all these Hispanic people walking around. They walking in their boots and shit, hella sharp. These niggas eating their elotes and shit. I want some of the food. I can't get none. Damn, 15 minute break. What's that gonna do for me when I'm standing eight hours, bro? That shit was not it, bro. I told them niggas to send my chick, bro. Go with them after that. Today, I'm laying there. My lips are all chapped. <gasps> water, water. Also, Dying. smiling all the time at Disney as an employee is in the job description. I would do that. However, comma, smiling when nobody's around, I'm not gonna do that. When people come around the corner and they're walking by, I'm gonna smile like, hey, hi, how you doing? Have a nice day. That's part of my job description. But when there's nobody around and it's me and you at greeter spot, I'm not gonna sit here like, <laughs> I'm so happy, happy, ha happy. If somebody from my hood <laughs> came to the park and saw me from a distance smiling for no reason, my hood card would get invalidated instantly. A lot of y'all don't dead. know this and I probably shouldn't reveal this in the video, but at this point it's whatever. We have secret black people meetings. Full stop, I had a great experience working with the company. However, comma, I feel like with my managers and my coworkers, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of situations that could have been handled differently. No tea, no shade. I was the perfect <laughs> no tea, no shade. cast member when I first got hired, but there's a lot of things that happened this that kind of the perfect head. situations that could have been handled differently. No tea, no shade. I was the <laughs> perfect Disney cast member when I first got hired, but there's a lot of things that happened that kind of just pushed me to the dark, the dark side. side. Oh, Karen's. how did I predict and that? I don't mean guests Double and prediction. people coming into the park. I mean my coworkers. The first tiff I ran into at work was the second weekend after I got hired. But I do remember at training, the guy that trained me, his name was John. John said, blah, 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 stairs is all I remember. And I don't know how oh, many of y'all know this, but every single Indiana Jones show sells out. His family comes up to me. Sir, we have nowhere to sit. May we just sit right here on the floor? Me? Yeah, yeah, why not? Sure, you can sit right there. I put the family <laughs> on the stairs, go to break. Literally. Yeah, yeah, why not? Sure. Literally, there's a fucking <laughs> no sitting on the stairs sign. <laughs> this nigga. You can sit right there. I put the family on the stairs, go to break. I put them on the stairs later, that's not supposed come back. to be so there. I'm chilling at Greeter. Sarah walks up to me. Uh -oh. Um, okay. Oh, Lord, a Sarah? Yeah, she gonna snitch. That's crazy. Um, I got this family sitting on the stairs. <laughs> and they told me that you told them that they could sit on the stairs. Yeah, this grown see. woman really just brought an audience to disrespect my gangster right now? My inner gangster popped off. Yo, talk to me nice. Oh, don't talk at all. I'm <laughs> don't talk at all. Right now. In reality, what I most likely said was, yeah, I let him sit on the stairs. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Um, <clears throat> who said that you could do that? John told me I could do it. Oh, John told you this? Well, let's go Shit. talk to him. Sarah takes me and herself out of rotation, walk all the way over to Star Tours. Is John, where's John? Is John over in this section? Uh, no. We leave Star Tours and she's going to like every attraction. She's over here like, no sleep, Star Tours, Toy Story Mania, tram, another tram, another tram, plane, <laughs> Tokyo Disney, no sleep. We finally find John in another section of the park. Tell John what you just told me. We can let people sit on the stairs? No, we can't, no, I'd never told you that. John was looking at us like, why are y'all even here? You see what I mean? These are the kind of people I had to work with at my attraction every single day. But let me tell y'all who the real stars of Disney are. The guests. Y'all need Jesus. Do y'all know <laughs> that there are guests out there who their life mission is to end up at Disney jail? I'm being dead serious. Google, look, look it up. How funny would it be if as Disney hell. jail was like a speakeasy private club, you know? There's a guy next to a soda machine, right? When you walk up to the guy, he's gonna be like, what's the password? Misa, Mosca, Mickey Mouse. You go behind the soda machine, you walk down a tunnel, you jump on a slide and you go to a bottle floor and you first enter, there's a bunch of Disney characters. It's the Mickey Mouse jailhouse. Hey! Come inside, there's fun inside. And Mickey's over there like, 
what do you say? Oh, Toodles! Toodles is over there sharpening his toothbrush, making a shank. That would also explain why we don't see any more Disney villains in the parks because I think that speaks a lot to my character. If I if I get geeked over Hades and shit, like come on, man, Hades is that nigga. Man. All in Disney jail and doing meet and greets. You got the photo pass guy taking your mugshot, and you know they got a food court down in there. And each prison cell has different themes. How funny would it be if at the end of your jail sentence, like Mickey's there to try to scare you straight, like they put you in that interrogation room? You think this is a game? <laughs> <laughs> you think this is a game? <laughs> they leave, the next family comes in. Get the camera out of my face! You think this is a game? This is how we're gonna do things! F Biggie! F Mob Deep! F bad Boy! I'm a self-made billionaire with a B! You know how much money I made during the pandemic? More than you make in your life! Why am I even down here talking <laughs> to these clowns? Golly! I know this all sounds- Oh god, he'd be- I feel like he would definitely be a self-entitled prick. I'm not gonna cap. Outlandish, but... This is the kind of stuff I would think about when I'm stuck at greeter spot, not smiling. I oh, don't that is a, hey man. <clears throat> w video, Swoozy. Um, oh fuck, dude. Boom, boom. All right, man, make sure y'all like and subscribe to not only me, but to the man Swoozy. This shit was fire, man. Uh. Yeah, man. I'll catch y'all in the next... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, everything will be in the uh, description below. The link. Yeah. Uh, follow my Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Good blog. I'll catch y'all in the next one.